Hi, welcome to Human Resource Management online class for the summer term. My name is Lori Yates and I am your instructor for this class. I just wanted to start out by saying hello and welcome and to introduce you to the way the Blackboard and the course are organized. So as you can see, I have the Blackboard site is up and running and ready for you whenever you're ready to log in. Um, I have organized over here on the left, you'll notice a series of tabs, and I have placed them in order of um, interest, so sorry for that. Um, the first section has to do with information, where you can find announcements, uh, information on how to reach me, so um, I am available, and I love to hear from people. I'm actually located in the Gresham uh, at the Gresham site on Mount Hood Community College campus. So if any of you happen to be in the Portland area, feel free to set up an appointment and start, stop by sometime. Um, you can also access the syllabus. It'll take you to a Google Doc, uh, to the Google Drive right here. And FYI, if you want to access the syllabus outside of the Blackboard system, note that it is on the drive and so that requires you to use your EOU login account and so if you're using a different one it will you'll have difficulty um, I have organized the class and oh, excuse me by the way here at the bottom there are some resources if we click on the course document site I have loaded the syllabus again for you here which takes you to the link here since uh, our school uses APA style writing and we will also use that in this course, I've loaded a crib sheet which has a hot link right here and some help sites that are also hot links that you can go to to get information on APA style writing. Moving back, um, I've loaded the course into a series of um, modules. Over here in the second section, if you click on the module um, page tab, you'll notice that it will pop up five modules. So the course is divided into five two-week modules. And if you click on each folder, it will give you the instructions on what will happen in those two weeks. The dates are also listed right here for your um, viewing. So let's click on the first one so we can just see. Pretty much they are very similar. Um, at the beginning, there'll be an overview and it will list for you the things that need to be accomplished during this particular module. Um, and then below that are more, is more information on each thing. So each of the two modules has two discussion board questions that you will be answering. And if you click here, it will take you to the discussion board page. Also, I have a rubric that I use for grading, and you can take a look at it here by clicking on this link. Each of the modules also has a recorded lecture for you, should you be interested in, in viewing that. Um, a couple of them have um, two different lectures, but each module has something for you if you're interested. Each module also contains an online quiz that you will take. You can click here and it will take you to the quiz. The quizzes vary in the number of questions. They're all multiple choice. They're um, open book, open note. The um, thing that you'll notice about HR management as we get into it is that there are two aspects to it. One is strategic, the other is very technical. The quizzes pretty much cover the technical information and I want you to be aware that there are certain rules, regulations, and procedures <clears throat> along with best practices that are important to um, <clears throat> excuse me, be aware of. That's why um, you're allowed to use open book. I want you to know that certain laws um, exist and they do change over time based on court cases and other legislation. So it's less important to memorize exactly all aspects of each of the um, laws. More importantly, it, you want to know that they exist and that there are some parameters involved so, and know where to find them. Okay, so um, the last thing I wanted to share with you was a discussion board. I've already loaded it and you'll see that there is a section at the top called questions and sharing. This is for your use if you have any questions about the course, you don't understand an assignment, you just want to share an experience or a YouTube video with the class, um, you're welcome to do so right here. And another one that I've loaded is called meet and greet and um, by the way neither of these have grades attached 
but it would be great if you could go in and introduce yourself to your classmates. I've already done so, and I see somebody else has as well, so that's wonderful. And then um, there are, as I mentioned, there are two questions for module one. So I have, I have loaded those, they are ready to roll, and you are welcome to begin populating those. An important thing to remember in each of the modules is that all responses must be uh, received and posted prior to the end of the module, and there'll be a deadline listed for each, under each question. However, for maximum points, your first posting, your first answer to the question, needs to occur prior to the end of the term. And usually that's about, or I'm sorry, prior to the end of the module. And usually that's about five days before. So you have a, a little over a week to read the material and get ready and post your first response then for maximum points. If you miss this first deadline, your uh, responses will all be graded and you will receive points. It just, it'll be a slight deduction for a late first posting. If you have any questions on that, be sure and let me know. Um, I also have um, <clears throat> various assignments loaded in here, and you should be aware that in this course, late assignments are not accepted. So above all, the one thing that I think is important for you to do is to stay up to date. Um, I've tried to organize the course in an easy to follow manner so that the due dates make sense and they're organized for you to be able to follow more easily. However, um, even if you it's time to turn something in and it's not your most perfect work, turn it in. Done is good and there will be another assignment due right after that so delaying it or trying to make up later is just not in the cards. So if you do have any unusual circumstances, such as a death in the family, um, be sure and let me know right away so that we can make some sort of arrangement for you. Otherwise, enjoy the class. HR is a fun topic. It's also full of twists and turns that you might not be aware of. I look forward to getting to know all of you and um, enjoy reading what you have to write in both your assignments and your discussion posts. Take care, enjoy your last weekend, and I'll see you online next week. Thank you.